What's up my little babies? It's your girl Lube guys and I am back with another video. As I always say guys, if you have not watched my latest video, do be sure to watch it. The link will be down in the description below. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up guys and subscribe if you're not subscribed and join the family. Let's jump into this video. Alright y'all, jumping into this video, you guys know that Brooklyn and KJ and Monch was on stream the other day. Monch asked Brooklyn, how does she feel about Terry's music? And she stated this. Do you really like Terry's music? Um, it's not bad. I just wanna, like, it's not, it's not my genre of music that I listen to. It's <laughs> 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 not bad. <laughs> Why I felt like it? No, I'm just thinking of it. It's not bad, like, I'm so serious when I say this. Now, Monj know he's wrong for that. If he know it was some secret talk going on the behind the scenes, he know Brooklyn can't keep a poker face. So I don't know why he asked her that on stream. So yes, y'all, that did lead to Terry unfollowing Brooklyn as well as KJ. KJ didn't do anything. He, he had a perfect poker face. So what are your thoughts on this? Now, you guys already know Naya had the troll the situation, and she did just that. But Brooklyn also stated in the comments under the post that there was a glitch and that the video cut right before she started laughing. Now, when Terry unfollowed them, he also posted this TikTok stating this. I don't like talking to y'all because y'all always trying to find something. Y'all always trying to find something. Something. Very much something. Y'all always trying to find something to talk about. Now, if y'all watch my latest video, y'all know that Nadia did a collab with Didi Osama, whereas people were trying to ship them. And a few people was uncomfortable with the idea of Didi liking Nadia because they stated that their age difference was too big of a gap. With Nadia being 20 and Didi being 17, now they also was put on a blind date. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, my heart. <laughs> Y'all talk. Look good, though. Yeah, look good. Like your tassel shit. Yeah. Yo, y'all, I'll turn y'all off. Y'all know the vibes, y'all. I'm gonna turn y'all back on. He not turning y'all off. I can't worry, because it's daytime right now. It feels nighttime. And it ain't got no tense. Worry, but... Mm-hmm. What then? Go to the crib one time for a lot. Worry, but... Man. Nigga, Bert. Now you look, oh, what's up with you? Where you going? Nowhere. Well, who you look good for? Look good for me? Uh, I, oh, I be. I want to chat with Dad. What's wrong with Dad? She want to chat with Dad. I thought you were straight into it. <laughs> I thought you were. <laughs> oh my God, you ain't talking about You told me, like, I mean, you ain't telling me. I saw it on the net. Mm. You, say, you say you. Oh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't age. I don't think age is bad, though. Like. And I don't think even works, bro. Like, age got nothing to do with nothing. Mm. I don't know why people do... That. Let me find out Didi been checking for Nadia, being that he already saw this clip of her stating that she would smash him. Smash her ass, Didi. Um, I don't give smash. Thank you. No pass. And baby, y'all already know that Didi was trying to handle that. But people were on them coming for their age difference, and Nadia had this to say. Hey, honestly. If I did want him, I don't see the issue. He's 17, gonna be 18 at the end of November. I just turned 20. That's a two year age guy. It's my kids and they 21 and they should like, what is that gonna do to Jason? No shade, I'm just saying. That only makes certain shit in the company. If it's wrong, let it be wrong all around. Yes, Alright, so what's your thoughts on that? It does seem like Nadia was referring to the whole Yanni and Troy situation. Now we also have King Darren stating that he's bi and he's coming out the closet. Mm -hmm. uh, and like, I think I take this, I'm doing really good with this video because it's been a long time coming. And it's like, I'm not like worried about it. I'm comfortable with my own skin. So, yeah, so what's my sexuality? I'm gonna go with, I'm not straight, but I'm bi. That's what I'm gonna go with. You guys, I'm by. I'm just gonna tell y'all. I never told my supporters. Uh huh. Yeah, I never told my supporters or people that follow me because I feel like it was no point of telling you guys. Cause it's like a lot of people always say like, oh, we could tell, we can do, we know that. Y'all say stuff about me in the comments. And like I laugh at it. But it was really nothing to say because I never like portray myself to be something else. Makes sense. So yeah, I'm just saying I'm just me though. But if you had to put a title on it, I would just because I still like like I said I want to have a baby. Like I, that's that's what I want to have. You know besides what I do right now or whenever I do it. But I'm waiting for that question that says, are you So I believe a lot of his supporters already knew that a lot of people felt like he was trying to get around his question for some time. But as he already stated pretty much that he really never tried to portray anything else. 
also stating that he wants kids one day. Now, a lot of his supporters, they were not trying to comfort him in a crazy way. They were actually supportive, so that was really good. You guys state your opinions, how you feel about this down below. So you guys know the drama that's been going on with Ari and Cam. Well, Ari came out stating that she feel like Cam have an STD and that Nadia told her that Lexi gave it to Cam, which made Ari and Lexi get into it and they end up fighting. Now, Ari wanted to come out with receipts stating that the truth of why her and Cam no longer fam together. So, I'm not gonna lie, I did text Nadia. Nadia was the person I texted because I know that she was messing with him and I know that, like, I just know that she was the last person supposedly that he was messing with um, or whatever. So, I texted her and I asked her, I'm like, when you and Cam was together, did he ever give you anything? Da 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 da. She texted me back and she was like, um, actually, let me read the messages. Let me go to the messages. I'm gonna just go to them and say what I said. Okay, so I texted Nadia October 19th. And I basically asked her, like, did Cam have anything? And she told me supposedly uh, the Lexi girl gave him something or something like that. And I was just like, okay, that was the big red flag for me because it's like, I already sensed that my intuition was already telling me that you had something. So I'm just thankful that I have a good intuition because these niggas will give you they could okay <laughs> literally so yeah so that just really like confirmed it for me like that's just enough for me to just walk away and like go about my day i'm not about to be out here trying to sleep with somebody knowing i could possibly have something like no it never came now, she also stated the reason why she also wanted to leave Cam along and stop filming with him was because Cam had his exes trying to fight her. She also stated that Cam had fans calling and making fun of her dad having cancer on top of him being controlling and manipulative and getting mad when he couldn't have his weight with her. So you guys leave your comments on this in the comment section down below. So a year ago, Sturdy made a TikTok with Benet stating daddy's home and he recently reposted himself stating that he wanted to remake that TikTok and you guys know if he made it with Benet the first time, he wanted to remake it with Benet the second time. And they also tried to get him and Benet to go on a date. And a TikTok was made so recent that it was the end of last month. Now tell me Nadia not turned up about Eli and hiding it. Because why did she go out of her way to go to BDOT just to remake it? Just to get back under sturdy skin. And y'all already know BDOT was all for it. Even fans calling him obsessed with Benet. You say daddy's home. Oh, home for me. So y'all know she had to be pretty salty to go out of her way to make that TikTok as well as B dot, especially knowing this sturdy wanted to redo that TikTok with Benet. So yeah, Nadia be talking big game, but she be catching feelings too. But anyways, people are mad at her and calling her Bop after seeing her do a collaboration with King C. Not just the collaboration made people mad, but also the fact that they stated that or felt like Nadia was also flirting with him as well. That you don't want to cook? That when you have a man that can cook, it's even better because you can just sit pretty and just clean after him. Ooh, okay. Hi, I like that response. Tell you what you What's What I learned today. I didn't say anything, I didn't say nothing. That's your issue. That'd be crazy for me to say something off of me. Damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. What'd I say? Never tip the crown. Huh? I'm tired. I'm a Chipotle bag. If you want to grab my neck, oh. grab that mom. Where's the toe? Oh, 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 Where's the toe? Where's the toe? Hey, no, no, I want to see what I'm saying. I'll never give up the crown. Where's the toe? Where's the toe? These grids are not smelling good. Actually, it is. 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 It's over, but it's much better.